In today's EEWeb whiteboard, we'll show you the KX23H Smart Sensor Hub from Kionix, which integrates a 16-bit accelerometer and ARM Cortex-M0 in a tiny LGA package to simplify sensor integration and enable more efficient designs. The included accelerometer is based on Kionix's highest performance design and features a selectable plus or minus 2, 4, or 8G full-scale range, embedded 256-byte FIFO or FILO buffer, and utilizes Kionix FlexSet Performance Optimizer to ensure low noise operation. It includes an embedded wake-up function as well as algorithms to detect device orientation and directional tap and double tap. The Cortex-M0 in the KX23H is a full-featured low-power microcontroller from Lapis, one of Kionix's sister companies within the Rome group. It uses an I2C slave interface to communicate with the host and an I2C master interface to communicate with the integrated accelerometer as well as external sensors. 128 kilobytes of flash and 16 kilobytes of SRAM allow sensor fusion and data analysis algorithms to be run directly in the KX23H. The final data is then buffered until the main application processor requests it. This allows the sensor subsystem to be developed and work independently of the application processor, simplifying system design and verification while also improving reliability. With the low power KX23H managing the sensor subsystem, the application processor is free to execute other tasks or go into standby mode, reducing overall system power consumption and extending battery life. If the device detects a significant event, such as a tablet being picked up, it can send an interrupt to the application processor to wake up and address the situation. Because the Cortex-M0 is a full microcontroller, certain applications will be able to run wholly within the KX23H, making it not just a sensor hub, but the main application processor. Kionix also includes a library of advanced motion processing software, including algorithms for pedometer and calorie counting applications, as well as activity detection. The KX23H Smart Sensor Hub from Kionix, enabling smarter, better sensor systems. These motion sensors are tiny but smart because they can detect every move. They start with silicon disks called wafers. Each wafer will be used to make thousands of motion sensors. A technician aligns the disks in a cassette using the flat part of each one as a reference point. Once properly aligned, a mechanism lowers the silicon wafers onto a carrier made of quartz because it can withstand intense heat. The technician loads the wafers into the furnace. Inside, 1100 degrees Celsius heat and steam cause an oxide to form on the surface of each wafer. It'll act as an electrical insulator. Then it's into what's known as a sputter system. Here, inert gas ions bombard aluminum, causing it to sputter onto the wafer until an even layer accumulates. This aluminum layer will serve as a conductor of electricity. The next machine deposits a light-sensitive chemical onto the wafer. The wafer spins, allowing the chemical to flow evenly across the surface. This all happens under the glow of yellow light to prevent the untimely activation of the chemical, which reacts to bright light just like an unexposed photographic negative would. They're now ready for that bright light. UV light beams through tiny patterns on a glass plate to activate the light-sensitive chemical. The patterns transfer to the wafer's surface forming an outline for thousands of motion sensors. Another chemical then flows onto the silicon wafer to further develop these minuscule images. Next, lasers locate the wafer's flat edge, signaling a chuck to spin it into proper position for plasma etching. The etching creates thousands of free-moving 3D structures. Each one is a motion sensor. After etching, a sprayer blasts the surface with carbon dioxide. It's the only way to clean it without damaging the now movable sensors. At the next station, a robotic arm flips the wafer into position. 
A tray moves under the robot and it places the wafer on it. The tray retracts and loads the wafer into a clamping system. It then collects a second silicon wafer and places it on the first one in the clamp. The second wafer acts as a lid to protect the individual sensors. Held in the clamp, a machine heat seals the two wafers and the bond is complete. Next, a computerized saw cuts grooves into the top wafer only, while a steady stream of water keeps the dust down. The saw exposes the aluminum layer on the bottom wafer, something that will allow each sensor to make an electrical connection. The platform now moves the wafer a millimeter at a time so that a probe can test each sensor and confirm it performs correctly. This continues until every sensor on the wafer has been tested. From a plain silicon wafer to a unit that contains thousands of motion sensors, this process has taken three weeks. After the individual sensors have been cut out and encased in plastic, they're ready for a final test. A robot loads each sensor into a test socket. The socket both tests the sensor's performance and programs it to customer specifications. A robot packages the sensors for shipping. And once installed in phones, tablets and computers, these motion sensors will be ready for action. I'm Chris Anderson at the EE WebTech Lab. Today I have the KMX61G demo board from Kionix, the industry's first highly accurate gyro emulator. In general, gyros are used to measure an object's angular velocity, which allows you to determine its orientation. MEMS gyros have become very common in smartphones, gaming devices, and wearable electronics, but they consume a lot of power, typically on the order of 5 or more milliamps at 3.3 or even 5 volts. For battery-powered devices, that's pretty significant. Additionally, they're usually paired with an accelerometer and a magnetometer or e-compass to allow the MCU to stabilize the data over time. The KMX61G is a six-axis sensor integrating a 3D accelerometer, 3D magnetometer, and an ASIC that provides a FIFO data buffer and motion-driven interrupts to the sensor hub or application processor. Kionix also provides the sensor fusion software that combines the mag and accelerometer data to output the emulated gyro data, as well as algorithms for magnetometer auto-calibration and magnetic interference rejection. This, in effect, gives you nine axes of data from a single sensor IC and consumes about one-tenth the power of a traditional gyro and occupies less board space, making it ideal for space and power-sensitive applications such as smartphones, laptops, gaming devices, and wearable electronics. The concept of taking data from two sensors to emulate another is not new, but the advantage of the KMX61G is its low operating power, drawing only 450 microamps in operation and one microamp in standby, and the performance of the software they provide for the sensor fusion and other functions. That software running on either your sensor hub or application processor should draw less than 500 microamps, making for a total 9-axis solution drawing under 1 milliamp. On the demo board, there are two sets of sensors. One is the KMX61G, the other is a gyro paired with a mag and accelerometer. In the demo software, there are two cubes that display on the left the traditional gyro data and on the right the emulated gyro data. And as you can see as I move the demo board around, they track fairly closely. It doesn't track perfectly, but it really doesn't need to because if I'm playing, for example, a game on my smartphone, a racing game, and I'm trying to turn my car, all I know as a user is that if I'm turning my device and my car's not turning far enough, then I need to turn my device farther. So the real difference is I can play longer because the KMX61G consumes much less power. Nothing comes for free, of course. This type of sensor can be thrown off by things like centripetal force, reducing the confidence of the data. This could be a problem in defense applications where the absolute accuracy is critical, or something with very high rates of full range motion, such as tracking a baseball for a TV broadcast. However, the applications I mentioned previously, wearable electronics, laptops, mobile devices, gaming devices, etc., typically have more limited motion and constitute a very broad market. The KMX61G provides designers with a highly accurate gyro alternative that draws much less power and occupies less space than a traditional gyro. 